Uh, why don't we move on to Lighthouse? You actually attended a screening where the director did a question and answer afterwards. Um, tell me, give me your thoughts on that and then tell me a little bit about Robert Eggers. Yeah, yeah. So Robert Eggers did a Q&A for the Lighthouse. I think he did three Q&As last, uh, last uh, Thursday in Boston. Mm-hmm. And I didn't actually remember what was on This Lighthouse only played in eight theaters last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them in Boston. Yeah. Um, so how about that? But uh, yeah, this is his second movie. Of course, The Witch came out and I believe it was 2015, 16, starring Anya Taylor-Joy, one of her first big roles. And that was really kind of celebrated as like the quote unquote elevated horror, intelligent horror that uh, Ari Aster has been doing recently and uh, other people, you know, it's not your slasher uh, cliche horror movies, right? Mm-hmm. And you didn't watch The Witch. I didn't watch The Witch. No. We don't like being scared at the movies generally, so we tend to avoid them even when they're good. But The Lighthouse uh, is a little different. And, you know, I got the rapturous reviews out of Khan. Rapturous in the sense that people are like, like this movie fucks. Literally, it turns out. Like, this movie's all over, like, like crazy, right? Like, there's so much about this that's awesome. The Lighthouse, The Lighthouse, The Lighthouse. That's like, that was just the buzz out of France. And I'm like, all right, I love Pattinson, well-documented. Who doesn't like Willem Dafoe? Always good, coming off two Best Supporting Actor nominations in two mm-hmm. years. Uh, Eggers, one for one so far. How about this next movie? And then it does more festivals, and then people are like, yeah, man, The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse is great. And I have to agree, man. Like, I saw this, as you said, at a and a so it was a packed house, people that wanted to be there. Great experience. Everyone was completely fucking focused on this movie. I did not see a single phone screen. No one talked. It was great. <laughs> and then Eggers, I think, actually had, he had some fun uh, insights, uh, jokes, uh, answered some. I think people asked him good questions at the Q&A. So, I mean, he only talked for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, if that. Mm-hmm. But um, cool, cool to see. That was my first time going to a director Q&A. So that, 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 was, that was sick. But this movie, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but you know, just on the, on the face, it's an A24 film that uh, Eggers, he shot this on location in Nova Scotia and it has a square aspect ratio. It's in black and white shot on 35 millimeter film. It's a film fans movie. Yeah. You can expect. But most A24 movie possible. Sounds like. Right. But coming off the witch, I, you know, I was going in and I was like, man, I'm going to be stressed as fuck watching this, but I'm going to do it for the content, do it for the Pattinson fandom. And then I'm like, oh, it's not actually that scary. Like it's quote unquote a psychological horror movie, but it's almost more of a thriller to me. The thing was, there's so much stark imagery in this movie on top of the fact that it's already really stark being a black and white square shot movie. But you know, I mean, as the trailer would suggest, uh, it's very much indebted to like Herman Melville, you know, man versus nature set up with like the 1890s Pattinson's character shows up to be a lighthouse keeper, uh, Defoe's the, the veteran keeper there. And they're just kind of on top of each other. It's very much a two hander performance. There's like, they're, they're basically the only actors in the movie and, you know, hijinks ensue as they start to lose grip with reality. You know, that's all I'll say about the plot. But what that leads to, I mean, from the start, Defoe, you know, well, I mean, Willem Defoe's well documented as being a boss, but having him like like break down and chew out Pattinson in like 1890s like semen slang and like <laughs> insulting you, like by calling you a scallywag, like literally like just going on like amazing soliloquies in 1890s <laughs> English. It's just the best shit ever. It's awesome. And he's so good. He's got this long ass beard and he's like fucking farting. And like, (laughs) it's so good. And then Pattinson starts off much more subdued. But as he starts to lose his marbles as the movie progresses, he just gets to let out and actually like kind of be more showy. And he hasn't actually been that showy in his past few roles, despite the wide variety of the roles he's taken. And we've talked about most of those movies it's actually, I think, really cool to see our bats finally, like, really lash out and have fun. Like, and, like, there's some interstitial scenes where, like, you know, the storm's brewing. They got nothing else to do. So they're just getting fucked up at the dinner table, just drinking. And they're singing and dancing around the table. And, again, 
it's all in like this 1890s parlance. So mm-hmm. it, it, it's, it's really good. And I think overall the imagery, the, uh, the way like the Eggers will jump from scene to scene, it's the same cinematographer who did the witch. Uh, I really can't say enough good things about the movie. I don't want to spoil anything though, no, but really, really engaging, thrilling movie, awesome performances. The scenery looks awesome. Despite the fact that you're just on this fucking rock with a lighthouse on it and the buildings around it. So there's not a whole lot to look at, but uh, yeah. Uh, and then there's a few like really just out of, out of nowhere scenes, um, stuff that did to like Neptune, Poseidon, you know, um, so yeah, the lighthouse uh, is expanding this weekend. Should continue to expand at least a little bit more uh, from that. So I would really recommend this if you're squeamish about horror. Fear not; it's not a scary movie. Sounds like some wild movie making. Sounds just like a mm-hmm. crazy experience. I'm definitely, I definitely want to check it out in theaters because uh, I get the sense that you don't get the same feeling. Uh, oh, 100 percent. 